All right, so yeah, this is a uh, pretty much a clusterfuck right here. I got audio going from this microphone into my recording software. Then I got audio routing from my audio interface into another computer to record the overall audio for this um, this entire thing. I don't, I don't know. Well, whatever. Anyways, this is a tutorial that I'm doing on making a complete track from one sample, and I'm just gonna do some silly shit here I'm going to make, make a sound, sound into this microphone here and gonna make a whole track out of it so yo 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 alright so I'm just gonna press record and do some like silly noises into the microphone and this this is what we're gonna use for this track woo alright so now that I look totally like an idiot um i'll take one of these sounds here and we're gonna make our track out of this Woo! Woo! i like this little noise because i i feel like when you're trying to do kick and snare stuff you want some transient information it makes the kicks and snares really you know, a lot easier um but kicks and snares are the hardest part of this anyways. So yeah, so the first thing I wanna do here, now that I have my sample, I'm gonna load up Ableton Simpler, right? It's a, it's a sampler in Ableton, and they have another sampler called the Sampler, so I don't, it's confusing as fuck. But yeah, so they have this sampler called the Simpler, and I'm gonna use that to manipulate all the samples in today logic has something like logic has a new sampler as well that's uh probably just as good as this i just feel like this is a lot i don't know more intuitive for me um because I, I i'm 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 coming from logic i've been using logic for about a decade and i love logic i just tried ableton out and i just kind of fell more in love with ableton um earlier uh not earlier this year, but late last year, maybe like around December, late December, I started using Ableton. So I've only been using it for about a few weeks, but so far it's like, I don't know, it just captured me. And so now I'm, uh, I'm kind of using it for beat making from now on. I still use Logic for like maybe mixing and stuff, and I still love Logic. I might make, I still make some beats in it every once in a while. Um, I just think Ableton is kind of. I kind of get able to now for all the people who've been trying to get me to use it for a while. So, so here we have our simpler sample here, and it's mapped out to the keyboard now. This is our sound here. All right. So the first thing we want to do, right, is we want to go to loop and press the loop button this is the magic button here and so you want to zoom in and find a good section i want to start with like a maybe like a keyboard type sound like like a piano roads type sound that's usually a really cool place to start so zoom in something like that would be a good place to start so what you want to start doing here is you want to, depending on what sound you use, this is the filter here in the simpler. And so for this sound, for keys, you can go high pass or low pass. I usually go high pass and that'll and turn up the resonance here and sort of, I usually play around with it until I can find something dope. And you can go back and adjust the sample too. And there's a volume control here. And there's another plugin I use, uh, which doesn't come with Ableton, but it's I think it's a good plugin to invest in because of the visual. Um, Ableton might have a plugin like this. Um, again, I've only been using it for about a month and a half, so 
But this is Fab Filter Pro Q. This is a plugin that I use to get um to to for like EQ. I use this is probably my most used plugin. And so I want to take the top end off of this uh, key sound. I, I don't feel like it needs this much top end. All right, so I'm still shaping this sound here. Starting to find something I like. All right, so I want to high pass a low pass feel to this some more. All right, so I want some more. I want to tack on this keyboard sound. I mean, so it's a decent sound right there. I feel like what I want to do next is and this is an important part. You want to tune your sounds to 440 hertz. I don't know like the scientific mathematic. But you want to go look that up, but. Um, most music is tuned to 440 hertz, um, most in musical instruments. So if you want to, uh, one of the most important things about turning a sound into like a keyboard instrument is uh, tuning it to 440 hertz. And so we want to pull up a tuner here in Ableton and drag it onto the track here. And a good place to start, just go to middle C, press middle C on the keyboard and go to controls in the simpler and you'll see the transpose button here so press middle c so yeah like i say go to middle c and drag this till you get to uh c i'm gonna have to turn the lfo off for now just so we can find it to the key there we go so now it's in uh, key, C. I mess with. Pretty good key sound there. So, all right, so we got our keys, right? And uh, next we want to do, I'm going to do the kick drum next. We'll do, we'll do the drums next. Create a new sampler track, right? Type in simpler and drag that here onto the track. Take our original audio. Y'all remember this? Yeah, we're going to take that and we're going to drag it onto simpler here. Now we're going to make our kick drum. And we're not going to use the loop function on this because it's just a sustained. I mean, it's just a one note hit. We're not trying to uh, make like a a pad or a key sound. We're just trying to make like a, a kick, a percussive sound. So the key with the kick is find somewhere that sounds like a transient. So we want to do a low pass filter. And I, I like this SMP filter mode here. Kind of has a little bit more grit to it. So. so this is a plugin I use kind of to like shape drums to add distortion to sounds and everything um, So, 
Yeah, so, so I'm probably going to want to find another part of this that has a click because I got some nice low end content. It's just not, I need a click for like a nice kick sound. So let me go through this some more. Might be done. There we go. So, a little bit of a click sound there. All right. All right. So we'll come back to the Fab Filter. Pro EQ. All right. And we gotta be careful, make sure we're monitoring our uh, output. I wanna get the kick right there where it's like almost. It's cool, pretty cool kick. So what I want to do is I want to um, bounce this down. So I'm going to record it. All right, so then we got our kick sound now, and we want to uh, freeze it, and then we want to, I used to call it bouncing in Ableton, but it's called flatten here. I mean, bouncing in Logic, it's called flatten in Ableton here. And so, I know in NPC, they use the word flatten a lot for like bouncing stuff down. All right, so now we have it, and we're gonna open up uh, a drum rack. So create a new track. And I have a terrible, memory as far as where everything is so I usually have to type it in here so drum rack for Ableton here and I'm gonna drag my kick to this uh, drum rack here and so that's my kick drum now we're gonna do a snare drum find a nice little and we're gonna high pass filter for the snare so uh, this uh unfiltered audio audio dent plug-in so um yeah, let's do this. Yeah, that's a cool sound of snare. We can add some reverb to it too if we want to get a little, you know, even more sexy with it. I don't want to put too much reverb on there. And flatten it. And now I'm going to drag it into my drum rack here next to my kick. So pull up our drum rack again. So now we got a kick and a snare. I actually like the snare without the reverb on it, so. All 
All right, so we got our drums there. I'm gonna do some keys. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the keys track again to make my hi-hat by playing the, the keyboard part. So here we go. All right. that yeah yeah it's almost like a percussion sound instead of like a hi-hat but you know be creative with it you know to duplicate uh, duplicate the hi-hat track and make a bass guitar sound or like a bass synth sound we want to low pass filter because it's bass so and let's find a nice spot All right, so I like this bass out here. So, tent. All right, so let me uh let me tune this bass here. Want to get our tuner back out. And audio effects tuner. So I'm going to turn off the LFO that way we can kind of get a nice tone here and remember go back to sample and actually I gotta always remember to set this to zero so all right so see now let's pitch it up with the synths So now I want to do, last thing I want to do is create like some type of lead synth sound. And uh, I'm going to clone this bass track and start again from the beginning with the sample. With Let me see what I want to do. Thank you. 
so. You can speed it up if you want. The Ableton, everything is kind of like warped to the tempo of the track. So obviously you can do a lot more. It's just kind of like this show you what you can do with just from a, just a sound that you make from your mouth into the microphone, you can create all kinds of sounds. Like the possibilities are like endless with what you can create. And um, I don't know everything about Ableton, so maybe somebody's watching this who knows even more about how to use this and get to this faster or whatever. Like definitely feel free to comment below, whatever. If you have any questions for me, how to do anything, if I went too fast. And I'm, I'm just learning Ableton myself for real. You know, I come from Logic, and so uh, I just like, I feel like Ableton really gives you, um, I don't know, I feel like you can do the same things in Logic. I just feel like Ableton is more like, yo, if you're into weird shit and messing with music in ways that won't win you a Grammy, like, come to us. Like, we'll, we got you, dog. I'll still do a lot of mixing and mastering in Logic, but I think for beat making, for me, Ableton is like, um, I don't know, it just got me excited about music again. Uh, and definitely, if you like the video, like and subscribe, click the bell for notifications, uh, leave a comment. Again, my name is Space Goes Yons, and space. <laughs>